What's going on, y'all? It's your boy coming at y'all post fight. We're about a week out of the fight at this point, and I just wanted to do this like post video and kind of. Um, I just wanted to do this kind of recap video of my whole debut, kind of my thoughts, my. You know, I've had time now to think about it, rewatch the fight a few times, and and really soak it all in. You know, making my first amateur debut. You know, you only do it once, so it was definitely not an easy process. Beginning, starting from, you know, two months ago or three months ago when, <clears throat> you know, the fight was first announced. It first was, uh, you know, I first took the fight. Currently facing an indisclosed injury. Uh, I ain't gonna talk about it because we ain't gotta talk about it, you feel me? 11-11 uh, has never felt closer. Uh, it's feeling real close now. And uh, yeah, you know, right now, not to get religious on y'all, man, but we praying. We just praying. We keeping it solid, man. We praying to God. Um, just keep hoping that uh, all goes well. Uh, obviously, a debut is scary. I've honestly only been... <clears throat> I've only been training for about... You know, a few months in an actual gym. Um, it's been a lot. It's been a lot weighing on me. This has been something that I've been working towards and 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 have uh, relentlessly been chasing. So I'm very passionate about this, and I'm very excited to see what comes out of it. So, boom, 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 eleven, eleven. You know the deal. You know it's real. Yo, what's going on, y'all? We back. Uh, I say we back like I uploaded any videos, but, um, as in back with an update. So we're 14 days away from the fight. Two weeks officially. Um, you know, feelings? I'm all over the place right now. I'm not gonna lie. Emotional a bit. You know, just thinking about the fact that, hey, this fight's coming up a lot sooner than, than I even can even fathom, you know, and, and we're gonna go in there and handle business, you know? And, oh, here's the thing. You know, two weeks out of my fight, uh, turns out my opponent pulled out, so that is kind of shitty news to be honest. I've been training for a specific style, specific opponent. Uh, it, at the end of the day, it's amateur, so who gives who gives a fuck? You know, we're, we're amateurs, so realistically it ain't like, you know, this ain't a title match. It just got changed on me, you know? My whole thing is this, you know, we got two weeks out, rib injury is pretty good, you know, I would say my ribs pretty solid, I'm not too worried about it, I'm more worried about my knee, you know, I probably hyperextended my knee uh, in training and it's been hurting pretty mean. X, Y, and Z, we're going in there and we're going to fight and we're going to win, you know, that's always been my mindset from the beginning. No matter the opponent, no matter what they were talking about, no matter what they said, you know, my mindset was always, hey, we're coming in this fight to win, you know, when, you know, we didn't sign up to lose, we didn't sign up to participate, we signed up to fucking win, and that's what we're gonna do, so, you know, in 14 days, I'm gonna be stepping in the cage for the first time, making my amateur debut, and, you know, for me, this is, this is as big as it gets, this is a huge deal, and I just cannot wait to display everything I've been working on for the past two years really you know four months in exact training two years and just mental preparation and just spiritual guiding and just like finding my way to where I want to be and you know saying I want to do something and then not you know fulfilling it so me getting this fight is honestly you know regardless of anything is a major win for me mentally physically you know, I always set myself out to do certain goals and I don't necessarily always finish them. So me even having a fight, having tickets being sold and having people to come to my fight. I mean, this is this is as big as it gets for me. This is huge. So absolutely cannot wait to put on a show. Absolutely cannot wait to to show everybody what I've been working on. Like I said, zero excuses. I'm coming in there for the fucking kill. We ain't coming in there to hug. We're coming in there to fuck. <laughs> so let's get it, champ. I had a certain expectation or certain like um, vibe that I had or kind of knew that was going to be, you know, and um, I don't know. I feel like, uh, you know, to to an extent, all those expectations were met, you know, um, it wasn't easy, um, whether it was injuries or just the weight cut. There was a lot in this camp that I definitely learned about, you know. Um, no excuses for the fight itself. At the end of the day, um, shout out to my opponent who came in, 
three weeks notice was game you know and and took care of business handled business you know um a little i guess uh so the the fight went to a decision um you know they gave him the decision win the shorts and stuff like that but i was really focused on this fight camp and it was a lot for me as well you know i've never had a fight camp never even competed in a combat sport so to you know join a gym in five weeks or five months and and you know get a fight within five months is pretty crazy you know it's it's a it's a big accomplishment in my eyes to even have gone out there and and done what i've done and performed how i did perform what it was regardless but like i said i'm just happy i kind of got through it got my experience in got got to you know show put on a show for my family more importantly and um yeah you know i'm excited to come back i don't know if you guys can see through the camera but my left hand is still pretty injured. I mean, it's been a week, so the inflama inflama inflammation's gone down a bit, but the bitch still hurts, my ninja. It still hurts, so we're still in recovery. I'm probably not going to be hard uh, returning to the gym for another week just because I'm taking my time. You know, this, like I said, this camp did take a lot of mental toll, physical toll on me, and, um, yeah, I mean, I'm ready for the next fight, but I'm also... Uh, like I said, I, I went through a shit ton of stuff during this camp, and I would prefer to be at 100% for my next fight. Um, so that I, you know, that so there's nothing else on my mind besides getting the kill. So, I appreciate you guys listening. Uh, I'll try to keep up with my MMA content as much as possible, just like I do with my music. But, if anything, a little more, because I'm trying to push this MMA stuff. But yeah, maybe we'll start doing uh, predictions and stuff like that on this channel as well. Uh, comment down below if you if you would like that, uh, like prediction videos for cards and stuff like that. I'm a huge MMA fan, which is why I even you know joined in the first place, got my first fight in in the first place. But yeah, I'm just excited to continue my journey. You know, oh and one isn't how any you know nobody wants to start their journey oh and one. But um, you know we're we're gonna come back harder. From, we're gonna come back way harder, and uh, yeah, we're gonna step way harder, and uh, we're gonna get our get back. Uh, and we're gonna get our, our win, you know what I'm saying? We're not going out like that, you know. We joined this uh we joined this journey or we did this journey to be great, to chase greatness, to be great, so that's what we're gonna do. Thank you guys for listening again. Um uh, yeah, it's been your boy, Jonathan. Boom! Round two. Jonathan super active with the hands, landing overhands. Oh, you see Jonathan. Nice right from Jonathan right there. Nice poppy step right there. Owning the outside landing. Looks like Jonathan took control of the center of the cage. Yeah, Jonathan staying active on the feet. Yeah. Now Dalton good sidestep and he's landing. Dalton, Dalton shoots, shoots for a takedown. takedown. And he's got he deep on the legs. Oh, got his back. Oh. Dalton might have it. There you go, he scrambles nice up. Nice scramble. Jonathan trying to take the mount right here, but might need to peel him off the fence. Jonathan with the grip around his legs. Does he scramble out of this or does he prep for the double? Preps for the double. He's got an underhook on the right. Let's see that guard. We've already seen Jonathan's. So we need to see uh, Dalton's now. Let's see Dalton work, work, off, work off his back. It's a little Ooh. half guard. Right now oh, Jonathan's got him pinned against the cage, so that's yeah. going to be difficult to work off. You can wall walk, but you're not going to be able to posture that easily. Mm -hmm. Dalton seems to be wall walking, but that half half guard is going to keep him pinned down. He needs to get get and, out of there. And first. also, he's you see how he's creating with his neck, kind yeah. of pushing his weight towards him. I'd say he has to put his elbow his elbow right on his throat, create a frame to push. Yeah, yeah exactly. He needs to get rid of that overhook. Yep. Get under. It's working against him. But nice job from Jonathan, just taking advantage of that. He's working too. It's not a stale half guard. Mm -hmm. He's he's getting some shots in here and there, and he's keeping the pressure. Yeah. And that's how quick the rounds go. It's already uh, last 10 seconds. It's like once you get taken down, that's that's a round pretty mm -hmm. much. One one. I would I can see that first round. I don't know how to judge that. I would say I would give it to Dalton because he got the two solid takedowns. But the, the stand-up was almost one way. Almost. Yeah. It depends how the commission is scoring it. The yeah. artist is scoring the takedowns more. Now, the second round, I would say Jonathan. Yeah. 
He landed more on the hands and got his takedown after the scramble. So. All right, looks like this is the first fight of the night that goes past the second round. They gotta leave it all in there. You only got two minutes right now to win that favor back. If it is one round to one round. Mm -hmm. You got two minutes left, that's it. Leave it all in there, amateurs. Looks like there's a cage malfunction. Just so double check on the pad here in the corner. And make sure it's Velcroed in correctly. All, and all honesty works in favor for the fighters. They're both recovering. Yeah. Right. Round three. Just in case. Going in the center of the circle. No one to back down yet. Nice kick from Dalton. Dalton with the roundhouse to the head. Guarded by Jonathan. Jonathan going for the oblique kick again. This is uh, bread and butter right there. Just trying to damage that leg as much as he can. Throws those oblique kicks and that inside kick. Spinning back attempt from a little uh, telegraph there, I'd say. Set that up maybe with some hands and then spin. Mm -hmm. Nice body kick. Dalton pressing the pace here. Nice knee to the body. Got that good clinch. Now with the body lock, let's see if Dalton can capitalize on maybe tripping that outside leg and getting the takedown. Takes the back. Let's see, Jonathan right now peeling away, trying oh. to get... Look like back of the head. Nice. Both exchanged. I think they both landed a hook on each other right there. <laughs> that was beautiful. Dalton going Get at it. Oh, combo. looks like Jonathan was hurt. Was Jonathan hurt? Dalton. Dalton relentless. Oh. He needs to be careful there. Yep. He's throwing so much as now Dalton's dropping. against the cage. Yeah. Tie up. Lies. You need to nice tie up. Get your breath and back on. Nice. And then Dalton is just teeing off on him. This might get stopped in a minute. Beautiful, beautiful. I like this strategy. He's uh, tying up to get his breath back and then ex exploding again. Time. 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 We don't know if that was a low blow. That was time. That is not a TKO. That is time. That Ref call time, time there. That might have been a low blow. He's giving time to the fighter to recover. That was not a win yet. Right now, they should both be. You see, Dalton was excited right there. He thought he won. He needs to get his breath back right now, just like his opponents did. If this results in the point taken away, that might be. The deciding factor here in this round. Yeah. Dalton just ready to go. Dalton, I think he he's, he smells blood in the water. He's going to try to finish this last, what, 30 seconds that there is. Or 20 seconds. I don't know how long. And he, you see the gesture for the back of the head protection, too. Yeah. I think the ref noticed that earlier yeah. in the round. Looks like he got a stern warning. All right. Both guys got their breath back. They got to finish strong here. Nice inside kick from Jonathan. Oh, nice right from Jonathan. Both these fighters. And Dolan gets the takedown. Dalton trying to secure here. He's in danger right now for a guillotine, but there's not enough time. It. Great performance from these two fighters. I'm going to let Kevin announce the winner here. I will be right back. And here is Miguel Bracho. With All right. Scorecards are in. And they read 29-28, 29-28, and 29-28. Your winner out of the red corner, 
Dalton Stoltz. What an incredible showcase from Dalton. And it's only his MMA debut as well. And good on Jonathan as well. Showed heart and resilience.